Hi guys, so today I as a professional makeup artist I'm going to uh, recommend products to you that I believe you need to have as a beginner and uh, that's going to take your uh, makeup game to another level uh, and I hope it's going to be helpful for you to really understand the background of why I'm recommending these products because I feel like a lot of such you know videos exist but nobody really explains why like why should I go for Maybelline why should I go for L'Oreal why why this product so I tried to put in a little bit of my own you know opinion and feedback uh, after I have experienced these products for a long time I've used them on myself on clients etc on different skin types so that's why I have compiled a list of my you know go-to products and must-have products so I hope it's going to be a helpful list for you and um, yeah, keep on watching. Hi guys, so today I've not concealed around my eyes. I've also not done my eyebrows, which I usually do. Uh, that's because I have products to recommend to you guys and I do have products for almost everybody. Uh, so I have pencil, I have a brow gel, brow mascara, I have two pomades and I have the brush. So basically, uh, you can go with powder, definitely, if you have full thick eyebrows uh, that don't really need a lot of tweaking or, you know, because if you can see, I don't have eyebrows right about from here, right? So I need to actually draw on my eyebrows. I have to fill it. I don't have to just fill it. I have to actually draw that bit on. Um, a lot of people are blessed with like full eyebrows. They don't need to draw anything on. So for them, powder is just fine. You can use powder the way I'm going to use pomade and powders that I recommend are wet and wild one. It comes like, like a kit. Uh, so that's great. Um, then there is the pack one. But the pack one's issue is that the color is either too dark or it's like too brown. You need a grayish brown. Okay, that's the color that an Indian eyebrow needs. Grayish brown. So go for that and uh, yeah you'll be set so the first product i'm gonna start with is the la girl shade shady slim brow pencil so this is in the color medium brown so it says medium brown i think they even have like a black variant and all of that so you have to play around a bit because i don't know there are even shades in like uh, gray brown right i mean there's shades within that shade so uh, you have to pick something that goes with your skin tone because i went for uh, i think brown and that was yeah it had a bit of gray in it but it was like not really suiting my skin tone. it was too light for me and then when i went for black it was great but um it was too dark so this is this works fine and um also i just love how micro the tip is I had one in MAC, I love that one, but I'm sorry, I can't spend 2500 I think that's what it costs, every time. It's, I think, the spiked brow pencil, I think that's what it's called. So I'm just gonna use this. So as you can see, now I've filled it in with a pencil, and now I'm going to use the NYX brow mascara, I think it's in the shade black tinted brow mascara in black yes it says black but it's not really black it's a nice gray brown this is actually this is my favorite brow gel okay like i have the mac one and i still i love this one <laughs> this just gives me deja vu because i have a brow tutorial up on my instagram and i think i'm wearing the same dress in that you know what i really desperately need new clothes because i've outgrown all of them like I, I used to be like a size S and I'm suddenly a size M and nothing fits me. Okay, so as you can see, that is my eyebrow. Okay, it's all done. You can see the difference. So that's pencil plus brow mascara. This is a very promising combination and this is something I think every beginner can go for. So yeah. So now I'm going to use the pomade. Uh, you want to scoop out a little bit on your hand and you always close the lid, okay, because it will dry out. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow in Ebony and I'm just taking a little bit and I am going to... So as 
you can see I have now filled in both my eyebrows. Uh, you might see a difference in the two because one gives like individual strokes and the other one is kind of like painted on. So pomade is actually a little more difficult to tackle so that's why I gave you like an easier brow filling option. And I just wanted to compare the pack pomade with the Anastasia pomade as you can see. This is lighter, so that's why I actually didn't end up using it. I mean, it's great, uh, but it takes just slightly longer to dry. I will use it a little bit. It's lighter, it's not at all my shade. So that's why I don't use it on myself. I just got a lighter one in case I need to use it on a client. So this takes a while to dry, but once it's dry, it won't budge. So yeah, you have to be careful on that front, but otherwise the pack one is actually a pretty good tube. So. So next I am going to talk about concealer. I'm using, I've already scooped some of it out, but I am using the Pack Cosmetics Spotlight Concealer in, I think Barely Nude is the shade I am in. And uh, this is amazing, it's really high coverage. And it is a little bit drying, so you have to keep that in mind. But I am in oily combination skin type, so it's perfect for me. You could go for the other variant, which is um in a tube form. I cannot recall the name right now, but that's also a very good one. It's less coverage but uh, and it's not as dry, but I've heard good reviews about it. So you can definitely go for that. So now I'm just going to conceal around my eyebrows and I'm going to conceal my eyes area and I'm going to be back. Hi, so I have concealed around my eyes uh, and my eyebrows. So now for eyeshadows, uh, I don't really have an eyeshadow palette to recommend because that completely depends on you. But I do have some brands to recommend, so I'm just going to go ahead with that. Uh, firstly, in the more uh, affordable range, I would say Wet n Wild, uh, NYX, uh, Makeup Revolution. These have a wide range of colors, so you can go for neutrals, you can go for more colorful eyeshadow palettes, you have it all. Uh, Nika one, I have not really tried it. I have not used it myself, but I have tried it in the store and I didn't really hate it. So yeah, you can even look into that. And for high-end, I would say Huda Beauty is really good. It's one of the best high-end palettes I've used. Really, really good. Um, and yeah, that's about it. But my most reached for palette and something, a brand that I would recommend to you is PAC. Because uh, PAC is, you know, it's professional grade, but at the same time, you can use it on yourself. It's a little bit pricey if you're using it just for yourself. But for a professional makeup artist, it's the best thing ever because I mean, I keep reaching for pack products. Um, just to mention, this is not sponsored. It's a funny story. I actually reached out to pack asking if they have like a PR list or something that I could maybe apply for. And they told me no. So yeah, I don't think pack is big on sending uh, small creators PR. So as a brand, I actually don't like that about them. Uh, and I don't actually like the favoritism that I feel like there exists from PAC but you know what the products I, I can't argue with that so I love it and yeah you'll see a lot of PAC products today but nothing is sponsored I'm just gonna put that out there okay so that's about it I am going to use the light prime Venus palette to do my eyebrows uh, sorry my eyeshadow look right now off camera and I will be back with more product recommendations so I will complete my eyes later and now we are going to move on to base. So I have two products for base. Uh, the first one is a pore filling primer. This is Pack Zero Pore Primer. Um, look, Pack has a bunch of primers and it's got another one called Pore Primer which is I think a dupe for the Benefit Primer. Um, it doesn't matter which brand you use or what type of primer you use as long as it's got Dimeticone. Dimethicone is the silicone that is going to fill your pores so as long as that ingredient is there rest assured that your base is going to be you know flawless and it's going to be smooth because any open pores or any acne or any kind of like little crevices in your face uh, is going to do its best job to fill it in obviously you're not going to be like a smooth canvas I mean it is skin after all and texture is very normal but Dimethicone is the power ingredient that is there in all blurring pore filling primers. So it doesn't matter if you're buying Benefit Pore Fashional, or if you're buying Smashbox Primer, or if you're buying Pack, or if you're buying Nika, as long as there's there is Dimethicone, it's going to work, okay? 
so now the question is of whether you should go for a pore filling primer or a moisturizing primer so the moisturizing primer is most likely not going to have the anti-methicone because it's just for hydrating it's not for really blurring anything out so then what is the difference between a moisturizing primer and a moisturizer the moisturizers you use might be greasy it might have an oil base but the moisturizing primer is going to be mostly like a jelly watery texture so just go for a water based moisturizer something as simple as Nivea okay is uh, the soft one not the, the very thick one not that this is actually water based so you can go for this and it's just it's just that easy you don't have to spend a bomb for a you know moisturizing primer and this is the silicone primer the pack one and you just use it in wherever like your t-zone might be oily or you might have like acne and it might have left like these you know scars on your face you want to blur that out go for the silicone primer go for any silicone primer it doesn't matter the one i like is the pack one okay but you can go for any silicone primer just look out for dimethyl cone you just check the ingredient list and that's it and for the rest of my face wherever i'm dry because i am a combination skin type i just use a normal moisturizer sometimes i might just use my greasy moisturizer in low quantities because if you overly grease your face before foundation it's going to break down your foundation because oil breaks down makeup okay so you don't want to put anything too heavy under your foundation but just stay away from moisturizing primers honestly i personally strongly believe that it is a scam so that's about it i'm going to hydrate my base and all of that and i will be back with foundation recommendations okay all right so i have already made a concealer recommendation the spotlight by pack the corrector recommendation would be the la girl pro conceal in orange hands down the best one Another foundation that everyone really likes and honestly I didn't like, sorry, I didn't like the first time I used it and I actually wrote a blog post about it uh, which I, I think is time to retract because um, I was wrong. Uh, this might not be a very long lasting one or anything like that but it's a damn good everyday wear foundation. So yeah, you can pick this up and uh, something that's long lasting as well as very high coverage this is not so high coverage but the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour full coverage foundation does stay for a very long time and it is very full coverage and the Nykaa Skin Shield anti pollution foundation I am in the shade Hot Honey and for Maybelline I am in the shade I think beige something yeah 220 natural beige so these two are my drugstore go-to's and actually this is my real go-to because for college or you know whatever on the go stuff this this is the one so now i'm just gonna finish my base and i will be back with more products all right so now i have done my base now i'm going to set it so my most favorite one is any kind of like translucent powder like hd translucent powder look for something that is very fine instead of something that's kind of chunky because the cat hair so something that's very finely milled is actually going to really settle into your skin and really give you that you know it's going to soak in all of the moisture and really set your base instead of something that's going to be chunky and just kind of sit on top of your face and make it cakey this just kind of melts into your skin and i love the pack one i have not really tried anything else i think the k by katrina one is also good um, I do like the Huda Beauty one but I feel like it's a little bit heavy and um, it makes my face a little bit cakey. So how I set my face is under the eyes, around the nose, the mouth, a little bit on the forehead and the rest of the face, whatever is left on the brush, I just go over with that. So basically, and I take it down the neck. So basically I set it very selectively so that I still have that dewy skin and it's not cakey but everything is in place. So. Yeah, this is the one. It's uh, translucent, so it, even though it's white, it's not really got any... It doesn't leave any kind of color. There's no flashback. Uh, and uh, I highly advise against baking your face, uh, but I guess you can do it with this. I hate it, and I don't recommend anybody to do it because it just makes the under eyes just really dry and really cakey, and you just, it, it, you just age, like, by 10 years. 
so I don't prefer it but um, yeah you can do it if you like it so because makeup is subjective so yeah I'm just gonna set my face and uh, then I will talk about I think lipsticks so yeah no contour and highlight so yeah I'll be back so for powder contour as a beginner you can go for those dual palettes which is basically like one is just a skin color one and the other one is like a contour shade and I think Wet n Wild has one and it's pretty good I really love it and I recommend it to all the beginners but I actually broke mine so I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution one this is one of my first additions to my kit so it's like a bunch of colors you don't need so many colors if it's just for yourself so yeah I'm going to contour with this uh, for blushers, now I'm not a blush person, but I just wanted to recommend one to you guys. Uh, I would say Pack, uh, but also Maybelline has some really good ones. Wet n Wild has some really good ones. So it just depends on you, whatever color, whatever shade calls your name. Colors I would recommend for Indian skin tone would be peach, plum, little bit of like a maroony shade, something that just adds a flush to your skin. So if you're of my skin tone, I'd say go for like nude peachy kind of pinky vibe and if you're more deeper then i would more deeper if you're deeper than my skin tone then i would say go for a plum it looks really beautiful so yeah and uh, for highlight i have i say again pack but this is like a go-to for everybody the wet and wild one oh, can you see like it's so yeah it's it's amazing so yeah just blindly go for this this is a uh, blossom glow this is a little pinky but uh, I think they have like a gold variant as well and it's it's amazing so I'm just gonna finish off with that and I'll be back all right so before I move on from the eye makeup I just wanted to recommend some products that I'm not really using today but that I do stand by so firstly there is the Maybelline Colossal Kajal which is really 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 good and really affordable long lasting jet black doesn't smudge doesn't rub away sets in place so yeah next there's the maybelline colossal liner which is just a pen liner and it's really beginner friendly any pen liner is going to be beginner friendly but this is the one that i use so i'm recommending it uh then you can also go for a gel liner the maybelline gel liner doesn't dry out and it's actually really affordable and really really good and some lashes the lash glue pack hands down pack and uh, lashes uh the you know wearable ones i'm recommending so this is pack 52 it's really really wearable this pack 63 which i think i wore in the very first video i made on youtube so this is the one and there's also pack 213 which i don't have with me but yeah that's oh that's also very close to pack 52 but it's more like it's more obviously small to big and it's it's not the heaviest lash you can carry it for throughout the day and uh, it's good for bridals it's good for every day just it's it's good for small eyes it's good it's lightweight and it's really good so these are the products that i recommend i'm not going to be wearing lashes today because i just don't feel like it i'm just going to use mascara and you already know which mascara i recommend i ranted about it in my last video it's the maybelline hyper curl and that is what i'm going to be using today i've already curled my lashes i'm just going to use mascara set it all in and then we'll come to lipstick all right stay tuned I love how my lashes look right now. I curled it and I used the hyper curl, and I mean it—it's so good. I've not really seen my lashes this like my natural lashes look this good in a long time. So yeah. Okay, so for lip liner recommendations, I will say go for like any brand honestly. Uh, Pack makes good ones. K by Katrina makes good ones. Huda Beauty obviously makes good ones. Um, and there's also I think uh, Nykaa that makes really good ones. So experiment look around but i am going to recommend the shades that you need as a beginner so you need like a shade like this which is basically like i don't know like pink maroon i don't know what color that is but it's good to have for you know making those just any lipstick kind of have that extra like that extra something okay uh, then you need a nice like brown like pure brown this is for all of the nude lipsticks that are too nude for your lips and you need to kind of just make them work and you need a pure red 
So the pure red is basically for well your red lipsticks, okay? Because um, you need a lip liner with any kind of red lipstick you're going to wear. Um, I actually don't like this one as much as I like the uh, I think Lady Boss or something it's called uh, by Huda Beauty the lip liner. I really like that one. I'm forgetting the name. I will try to leave it in the description. So I like that one because it's a more blue red, as this one is a little bit more like pure red. I like a bluish red. So yeah, that actually works the best. But anyway, I wanted to give like a budget-friendly option. But try to look for like a blue red. Okay, so I am going to use uh, this lip liner today. It's High Impact, uh, K by Katrina. This one is Spice Girl with a Beauty, and this is In Love Pack. So yeah, a red, a plummy, pinky, in between shade, and then a brown. Okay, that should be your range of lip liners. Um, and lipsticks. Well, I'm not gonna recommend you colors because it completely depends on your liking. But I will recommend you know sort of some budget friendly brands. I am personally a big fan of Nykaa lipsticks. Any kind of Nykaa lipstick. I'm a big fan of um, Maybelline lipsticks. I'm a big fan of. What else? Um, I think that's about it. I don't really enjoy packed lipsticks or NYX lipsticks as much. I've not really tried Makeup Revolution lipsticks. So yeah, my staple go-to is, oh, Lakme. Lakme, Maybelline, and um, mostly Nykaa. So yeah, I have a Nykaa swatch video on my uh, Instagram. I tried like a bunch of Nykaa lipsticks. So you can check that out. And uh, also I have a MAC lipstick swatch video on my Instagram, so you can check that out as well. Uh, yeah, MAC is my go-to high-end lipstick brand and also Huda Beauty is my go-to high-end lipstick brand. But I mean, they're a little too pricey, so I'm just recommending Nykaa for now. So um, I will do my lips, I will make myself presentable and I will... Okay, so the look is complete. Um, I know that I didn't really show myself doing makeup today except for my eyebrows. But that's because you already do see me and in the future will see me doing my base and my eyes and all of that. But I really just wanted to focus on the product. I recommend this product. This is the Dual Fold Liquid Gel by Pack. It is a dupe for the Inglot Duraline and um, this basically brings back to life whatever products of yours that have dried out on you. Like like maybe mascara, maybe foundation, like cream foundation, maybe any other cream product or anything like that. So you can definitely use it. It's not as effective as the Duraline one because as I uh, understand, Duraline also can make like your eyeshadows and stuff turn into eyeliner and then sets it. This won't really do that, but it's good for any of your products that may have dried out on you. So so guys, that's about it for today's episode. I hope you liked my recommendations and if you have any doubts, any questions, anything at all, just feel free to leave a comment and yeah, like, subscribe, share, all of that jazz. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it's at Sujasha, S-U-J-A-S-H-A and I do put out tips and all of that on my Instagram. So yeah, feel free to drop a follow and yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.